Soldering can be pretty intimidating, right? Especially if you want to solder some small wires to even smaller copper connectors. My first soldering joints on LED strips look terrible, but over time with a little bit of practice they got better and better. In this video I will explain to you the basics of LED soldering and hopefully by the end of this video you will be able to solder your own LED strips without any problems. Let's go over the basic beginner equipment that you need. Soldering iron. Any type you can get your hands on will work. The sharper the tip, the better. Solder itself, you usually get one together in a soldering iron package. And you need something to hold down your work. There's a lot of special holders out there, but I like to do it old fashioned style, bench wise. I think that this will hold well enough. Fixed. Now what I do in most of my LED projects is soldering two LED strips together. Often you are missing just a little bit of LED strip to complete your project and soldering two strips together is a great solution. First we need to fix these LED strips to the surface as well as possible. We don't want to have any movement there. And make sure that the poles on LED strips are on the same side so plus with plus, minus with minus. Also make sure you line up these copper connectors as much as possible. Your soldering iron should be heated up as much as possible and just apply solder to both sides of these copper connectors. Now this takes a little bit practice but as you can see this way you can make one very solid connection. Now if you want to make a break in your LED strips for example to go around window frame maybe then the best way is to use a simple cable simple wires like these one to connect these two LED strips together. After removing cable protection, make sure to twist the ends of exposed wires tightly so that no strains are loose. First, we want to thin these wires a little bit for better connection later. Apply a little bit solder to the tip of your soldering iron and use that to heat up your wires from underneath. We also need to trim these wires so that they are the same length as the connectors on the LED strip. Apply a little bit of solder to the LED connector and once you remove your solder you should have a nice little blob left. Now just place the copper wire on top of this connector and press everything down with your hot soldering iron. Everything should melt down nicely. Now let's say you want to solder this type of LED connector to your LED strip. These connector wires are much much thinner but they also can be easily connected to LED strips. Do the same thinning process for these connector wires to make sure we can have one smooth connection to our LED strips. Put some solder on copper pads on the LED strips so we can easily attach connector wires to it. Finally connect everything together by pressing connector wires with soldering iron onto your LED strip copper connectors. As you can see right here this is a fabric connection made right here and this one is mine. Actually it's not that bad, right? These are definitely the three most common ways to solder your LED strips together. Depending on your project choose one of these three ways and with a little bit of practice you will be able to do it in no time. Now if you want to see what are 5 best ways to mount your LED strips then check out this video right here. I will go through flat channel, corner channel, silicone tube channel and much much more in this video so make sure to check it out. I hope you have found some value in this video. If you did please hit the like button so that this video can spread to more people so it can help more people. Thank you guys and I will see you in the next one.